Hello, hello! Uh, today, a new experiment with uh, Jasmonite. I will try acrylic paint and alcohol inks. I uh, saw that on Claire's Crafty Corner channel, and I uh, saw too that alcohol inks work more or less, mm -hmm, well, less actually. <laughs> I'm going to try it anyway. I have this earth mold uh, that I'm going to do with my testing, uh, with so I don't waste too much jasmonite. It's not too too depth. I'll have to separate my mixture for my different tests. <laughs> well, I'll see. <laughs> I will weight my liquid here, uh, 30 grams, and then. 75 grams of powder. I'm not going to make the same mistake at last time in the video I list in the upper right corner. If you want to laugh a little, go and watch it. Well, I'm going to start with the acrylic paint. Um, I have an idea of the color I want to achieve, so I'm going to mix some ochre yellow and some red. I really use only a very, very small amount of paint, as you can see. I will add uh, later if uh, it's needed. Well, it's really too little. Uh, you have to add a little more. Come on, let's mix with the, two, the with the whisk. <laughs> I know I'm going to have to be quick once the liquid and powder mixture is done, since I want to separate in three part. Uh, this is a trial run for a bigger project later. I want to see how the color reacts. There is a retarder available. Maybe I will get some later. Ah, another thing, I put a, a basin in of hot water next to me to soak my instruments. Uh, if you do this right away, there is no deposit and therefore no risk for the drains. Okay, now I will separate into three parts. Well, let's see what this color looks like. The jasmonite being white, obviously my color is lighter. I think I should have used a little more paint um, or a little more red, I don't know. So, I pour into my mold.
I hurry to pour this part without anything in it. Let's try the alcohol ink. Um, I use a blue because I love blue. <laughs> and um, I'm not at all sure of the result. And I'm right with that. A little twist with my stick. I don't push it in my just minute. Well, we'll see in 20 minutes. For the third one, I want to get a light pink, but when I mix my paint in the jasmonite, I, I see uh, this pink is a little too strong. When I pour in my mold, you can see that the mixture is already starting to set and uh, is very thick. Yes, we have just about uh, 10 minutes to work with jasmonite uh, when uh, the mix is uh, is done. Oh, I will see the color result after it dries. Uh, sometimes uh, the color changes a little. Since uh, the setting is very fast, which is stressful for me, who is uh, pretty slow, <laughs> I'm adding uh, the mixture, natural mixture, uh, that I have left, right or wrong, we'll see. I already see that the mixture with the ink uh, will really not work at all. Okay, come on and let's be back for the unmolding. Okay, we are 20-25 minutes later. Here is unmolding. The first is not too bad. The second has a hole in the back. Well, rather a cavity, probably due to um, an air bubble. Um, the color doesn't really suit me. I'm waiting for some special jasmonite dyes. Uh, maybe uh, I'll get better results. For the pink, mm, it's it's mm, it's too dark for me. Um, you see that the first are are very nice. Yes, the the pink is really too dark, but it's still nice. And on this one, the ink didn't even dry. But I knew it. Uh, no, it's a disaster. <laughs> I'll wait uh, 24 hours for the others to dry more, and then I'll be back with an ID to embellish uh, one of this earth. See you soon. I'm back. As you can see, uh, the color is even lighter. So I'll have to put a little more paint on to get the shade I want. I have these adorable cat decals and will put one on a earth. And uh, then after that I'll uh, try a sealer on it. It's not a varnish but it makes uh, the jasmonite water repellent. It's interesting when you're doing so dishes for example. 
there is a special sealer for jasmonite but i couldn't get it so i found an alternative on amazon i apply my uh, wet paper towel uh, to and remove the protection and normally it should work we'll see You have to remove the protection uh, very gently um, to avoid the smudges. But suspense, and here it is, my little cat. Yes, it works. I'll wait for everything to dry well before applying my sealer, and I'll be back in a few minutes. Here is the sealer I will use. I put the list of products in the description box. It's to seal the clay, so I'm applying it with this foam brush. I'm going to see how it looks. Uh, it really doesn't do much. I put it on the little dishes that I showed you earlier. And you have to get it everywhere. I'm being careful with my decal. Uh, <laughs> I'm thinking of uh, reapplying two or three layers. I hope it will work. And I'll probably do a coat of varnish too. I let you know right away. And yes, it was great. I'm very happy and I will do another with another heart. Thanks for watching and see you soon.